Hi, Dr. Latcher. Thanks for coming out. You're welcome. You sounded a bit scared on the phone. Well, my farrier was just out yesterday and said that we're like some low-level foundering. She's very foot sore. He's worried that she's going to founder. Uh-oh. And I'm, I don't know why this would be happening. Like, we're doing all the things, right? All right. So I, I, I need some help. Okay. Well, let's start by going to take a look at her. Okay? Okay. All right. What do you think? So on a normal horse, you should be able to see a shadow of the rib when they turn away from you. Well, maybe on a thoroughbred or something. No, on any horse. Yeah, I don't like to keep my horses too thin. That's a body condition score of five, which is a normal body condition score. The body condition score scale goes from one, which is terrifyingly skinny, like hmm. really scary, right? Where you can see the ribs. Yeah, all of them. Oh. All, all the ribs. Oh, yeah, yeah okay. no, all the ribs. Nine is where we are dangerously close to. Your horse is an eight and a half. And that you is saying where- saying she's overweight? She's incredibly overweight. I don't- She's 350 pounds overweight. I'm not sure how that's possible. Well, what do you, let's start with She's, what you feed she, her. She lives on ration balancer and, and a good quality hay. Okay, so let's start with some quantities. How much ration balancer does she get a day? She's on a pound of ration balancer, which is split into half, half a pound in the morning, half at night, just okay. like the bag says. Okay, and what else does she get with her meal? Anything else she gets with that ration balancer? Well, she, she gets some Proforce fuel and stuff so that she's got the energy for, for performance, the electrolytes and stuff like that. So, like, nothing, nothing bad. Okay, how much of that Proforce fuel does she get? Like, three pounds in the morning, three pounds at night. Okay, she doesn't need that. Well, she needs that. That's how I mean, she's a performance horse. Not a, a body condition score of eight and a half. She's not a performance horse there. Well, how is she going to have the energy to do what she needs to do? <laughs> if she's a body condition score of five to six, you'll have a lot more energy to do what you're trying to do. But let's talk about her hay. What is she getting for hay? Okay, she's on uh, free choice orchard, and then she's on you know the pasture. She's turned out for twelve hours uh, every night, so. Okay, so you feed her all the orchard hay she wants in a day. Right. Do you weigh that? The hay? Yeah. No. Okay. How many flakes do you think she goes through in a day? I don't know, probably five or six. Like, I, I have people that, you know, refill it when it's low, so I'm not really sure. Okay. So she probably needs to be on about one flake of hay for the 12 hours that she's in the stall based on going out in the pasture at night and your pastures are beautiful. It looks like you've done a lot of work on them. Well, we do, we fertilize and everything. But, okay. But one flake, like she's gonna eat that in an hour and then she's gonna be bored to tears all day long. We can talk about strategies to make it take longer for her to eat that, that flake of hay. But she is out in that field all night long eating all the grass she wants. Mm -hmm. And your grass is, like I said, it's beautiful. The problem with that beautiful grass is it means it's high in sugar and it's really high in calories. Huh. So, I really don't want her to be skinny. <laughs> Six is not skinny. Even I'm, five isn't skinny. Well, we should be able to find her ribs, and I currently can't even feel her ribs. Well, I mean, I don't feel like you should be able to see all the ribs. That's just, it's not healthy. What do you think of a person where you can't find any ribs? Horses are different. You can't compare mm -hmm. horses to people. Mm -hmm. Sides, and you know, this is, uh, she, she's, there's a certain expectation in in sport horses, you know, that they have, they have to look a certain way. All right, but her feet are uncomfortable, so we need to deal with that. We do need to deal with her feet. So. All right. Well, yeah. let's. How about if we go do a blood test, where we look for something called her insulin levels, and if her insulin levels are high, that is an indication from her body that she's overweight. All so right. if you think she's not overweight, and I think she is overweight. How about if we do her insulin levels and we see what they say? That's fair. Okay. Hi, Dr. Lancher. So you got the, the results back from the, the blood test? I did, and I know why her feet are sore. Is it bad news? Well, 
her x-rays show that she doesn't have much in the way of rotation or any of the other things that we worry about with the bones in terms of lam laminitis or foundering. Same thing, different words. Uh, but her insulin level is 150, and normal horses are less than 50. Whoa. Yeah. So she's three times normal level? And the problem when the insulin levels get that high is we create a condition in the foot where it can't have a proper metabolism. And so she does have laminitis going on in the strictest sense of the word, which means her lamina is swelling. Right now, she doesn't have anything bad necessarily happening to her, her bones, you know, so we're still in a stage where we can control it, but it means we have to, have to, have to get her weight and her diet under control. Oh, that's not what I wanted to hear. I know, it's gonna be harder for you than it is for her. So how do I, how do I get her there? Well, we're gonna go with just the ration balancer. Nothing else. You can add the electrolytes, but nothing else added. Electrolytes and ration balancer, that's it. Just maybe like one or two pounds of fuel? No, no fuel. We're trying to save her life here. Half a pound? Nope. Handful? Nope. Oh. Yeah, I know. I may not be able to get through this. I, I told you it's gonna be harder on you than it is on her. I'm gonna to have to have someone else do her feeding. I, I can't look her in the eye and Absolutely. give her a half a pound of, of ration balance. So. I know, it's gonna be hard. Next, we're gonna take that flake of hay that she gets and we're gonna put it in a hay bag and a hay bag. So it takes her a lot longer to eat it. A hay bag and a hay bag. Yep. She's gonna think that I don't love her anymore. That's not true. It's, it's torture. <laughs> Next, when she goes out on that grass, we're gonna put a grazing muzzle on her. <gasps> Dr. Latcher, there has to be a line in the sand here somewhere. The other line is she doesn't go out on the grass at all. Can she go out for shorter amounts of time without the grazing muzzle? Very, very short, like 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Yep, there's a really good study looking at ponies. So they put the grazing muzzle on for eight hours and they took it off for one hour and they made up for all of the missing grass they had in that eight hours in one hour of grazing time. Wow. So no. 15 minutes or grazing muzzle in eight hours, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, I guess we'll do a grazing muzzle. So how long does she have to be on this diet before she can go back to normal? We're not gonna be able to go back to normal, but we can probably get her weight down and then we can increase some of the things. She can go back on a little bit of the Proforce fuel. But what I'd actually suggest is as opposed to just adding Proforce fuel, we bring in an equine nutritionist. And on any of the major brands of feed, there's a 1-800 number on the back of the bag. You can call that number and we can get you an equine nutritionist who will help you formulate a diet knowing her challenges with weight and your desire to feed her and our need for some energy for you to be able to do all those moves you wanna do out there in the ring. And we can come up with something that works for her. Okay, well, if the team of professionals says this is what we gotta do, that's what we gotta do. She's gonna hate me though. I already hate myself a little bit. <laughs> <laughs>